Hello, 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 and welcome to episode one of this series that I'm creating specifically for my grandmother, but if you are a loved one who is not my grandmother and you are watching this, congratulations. I genuinely love you. <laughs> Currently, we are placed outside of the Zimmerman home, a home that I created for my first lesbian couple in my Sims neighborhood. Now, I have not completed my Sims neighborhood, but whenever I do, I will do an entire tour of my custom Sims neighborhood and introduce you to all of the families and it will be a great grand time. But for now, my favorite house I have ever done is the Zimmermans. So I'm going to go ahead and take you through this house and give you a little tour. I will probably talk about this house as if I'm selling it to you. I'm not actually selling it to you. It is digital. We all wish it could be real, but it's digital. So, without further ado, let's go on in. I have gone right ahead and made it 10 a.m. so that you can see all of the natural beauty this house has. I have the lot trait on here for natural lighting, so a lot more natural light will get into the house. My main reasoning for making it sunrise is because I would like to show off the amount of natural light that this lot has. And now we are headed on into the Zimmerman home. So I am going to enter and immediately turn left and you see that we have a beautiful little entryway over here. A place to throw your shoes after a long day of work and hang up your things. Or leave random packages that you just got. And then over here, since this is a family home, I call this the catch-all corner. This is really where our sims have swept up everything they really just don't want to deal with right then. Coming on our right, we can see the staircase and this gorgeous display of art, and a few plants, because who doesn't love art and who doesn't love plants? We're going to come over here and see the dining room. The dining room is absolutely gorgeous, but it is simplistic because everything behind it is definitely not. So here we have our Sim, Leah. She is the baby mama to our sim, Oliver. She is probably attempting to make a garden salad, so I'm going to go ahead and let her do that as I give this tour. So we're going to come over here. Oh, Miss Man, did you cut your finger? Oh, girl. Okay, I'm a little tired of hearing your voice, so we're going to go on ahead and- oh! Robin! Hi! Let me pause it again so we can get a good view at you. Here is our other matriarch, Robin. She is the quote-unquote father of Oliver. So she did not carry the baby, but it was made from her egg, if that makes sense. I know it doesn't, but it's whatever. <laughs> Um, she has got her nice morning cup of coffee, and she is in her athletic gear for some reason. Aside from The Sims, we have a gorgeous, spacious, amazing kitchen with all of the top appliances that you are allowed to get in the game. We have a dishwasher, coffee machine, everything you could ever dream of. We even have details down to a little spice rack and some knives and different clutter around the kitchen. Now we're going to go ahead and enter in here. And as you can see, we have something on the bay window. We have a little bit of fruitcake, some invitations, and just some condiments and salt and pepper and such. 
and then over here, I'm not sure why this is floating. And I'm not sure I want to know why this is floating. So, <laughs> we have our wonderful breakfast nook where you can look out on the water and all of the nice things in the backyard. And would you look at that view beyond the backyard. It is just gorgeous. Now, turning the other way, we have a bar and a hutch and a few other little decorations that just really make it all complete. Over here we have some cute little posters and art and things of that and, and things like that. This I really wanted to bring in focus on the fact that this is a family home, so while we have wine and a bar, we also have some cute little posters for the kids whenever they decide they want to come in here and eat breakfast with mom. And then coming on back into the bathroom. So this bathroom I absolutely love. It is by far my favorite bathroom that I've ever done in this house. So we have our candles, our little toiletries, toothbrush, toothpaste, our little hand soap, everything. We even have a little medicine cabinet up here. We have a little mirror and our little hand towel. Over here we have a little good luck tree. And then coming over here, we have a bay window with lots and lots of plants. Because we all know that's necessary. And then we have a little self care center with some candles and some shampoos and some just nice things for you to wind down. Over here we have another little planter which I just think is adorable. We turn around here, we can see Oliver. He is stinky and he is probably going to start playing in the toilet if I unpause this. So before I unpause this, I'm going to go ahead and queue up for my Sim to give him a bubble bath. Now I'm going to unpause this and let her do that while I give the rest of this tour. We have a hamper, a toilet. All right, Miss Man, you don't have to talk so loud. Um, we have a laundry basket. Shh, we have a laundry basket some laundry underneath, a bathrobe, a little toilet, and even a little bit of toilet paper over here. While she does that, I'm going to go on ahead and exit out of the restroom to give them their privacy. Oh look, hi Robin! Looking gorgeous as always. So I'm going to go ahead and come on in here, which is our living room. We have a brown bear and a koala seat for the kids, and then we have a little tablet for the kids to play with. And then over here we have a stereo and some more gorgeous art. Over here we have a nice little library and a little work a little workspace for both Robin and Leah to get some work done when they're away from their actual work. Now over here we have also some little things, just little cats, dogs, photos of people, houses, everything like that. So they look at them and think, wow, it's well decorated. That is literally the only purpose of this. We have a grand piano over here. And then over here we have a crib because sometimes they are too lazy. I'm going to have them put all over the bed. And then I'm going to show you guys these works of art that my sims have created. Um, this one was made by Leah, and this one was made by Robin. They painted them. The, they painted these themselves, and they are absolutely gorgeous. And then over here we have a little. Oh, we have a little thing. Ooh. It's called the Greats Collage. And real quick, let's go ahead and take care of little man's here. Let's see what his needs are. He needs to go to sleep. So you're gonna yell at your mom. Try going back. Uh-huh, yeah, go to sleep. 
You're okay. You're alright. You're good. We're fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, girl's hungry. Can you go to sleep, please? 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 I beg you. I beg you. I beg you. Thank you. Alright, now that the baby is sound asleep, I feel comfortable to continue on with the tour. So as we come in here, we are going to see an in-home gym with a view. A view of some elder lady walking across the street in some cowboy boots. Love that for her. However, we are going to come back to the gym and look at the decoration in here. We've got some workout equipment, we've got a punching bag, and we've got a treadmill. Pretty much everything your sim is going to need to max the fitness skill. And if they can't max the fitness skill with those, they will sure as hell try to max the fitness floor with the fitness skill by laying on the floor and doing push-ups when you are trying to get them to do anything besides that. We are going to go on over here and we are going to head upstairs. And while I cannot give you a good little go upstairs thing, I can just do this. <laughs> it's close enough. <laughs> so we're going to come into here and see the flavor. We have a bunch of little posters and things of that sort, again, just for the Sims to get the sentiment about the house of well-decorated. Um, we have a little toy box, some little doll houses, I'm going to let the walls down. Um, little doll houses, one is a modern house and the other is a castle. And then in here we also have another crib, because this infant likes to sleep literally everywhere. I wish I was joking. Over here we have Dino. Dino is an amazing, amazing thing for you to put in toddlers, infants, you name it, rooms. Because he will just sit there and listen to your kid talk for hours like you don't want to. Continuing on, we are going to back out of this room and we have yet another bathroom. Now this one is pretty basic. Sink, laundry, shower, toilet, all of that. This is a guest bathroom mostly. Over here we have a second grand piano, an easel, a little spot for kids to come and just make the biggest mess possible. We have a little dresser with some books. And then another little bookshelf. And here we have the master bedroom's bathroom, which has mostly just the necessities and plus a little laundry pile. Now moving on, we are going to come into the master bedroom. The master bedroom is probably the most gorgeous master bedroom I have ever made. It has a decadent bed these gorgeous paintings and some little plants because who doesn't love plants and then over in this corner we have another little workspace over here we have what is officially the master bedroom bath however this one will remain another bath for the adults until Oliver ages up and he can get his own bathroom now over here we have Leah and Robin's bath, which is, again, just the basics, except this one has a fancier mirror, a little bit more candles, and it is just overall themed a lot better. Now we're going to come over here, past the waiting room, into another workspace, and then a little entertainment area. We have a koala, a panda, and a brown bear over here. I wonder if I can get you a good look at that. That's the best look I can probably give you, but those are really, really cute bear seats. This is the mad scientist type thing. Your kid can come up and just 
play to their heart's desire on this thing. That's enough for the entertainment room. We're going to go into this little waiting area. This just, you can sit down, you can read, and this is a good place to stay whenever you have kids that you have to take care of. So we have a little cot in here, and then a painting, and then we have a little potty and everything you could possibly need for a nursery. Plus little kits, diaper, diaper bag, baby wipes, and ointments. Oh, oh, oit, oit, ointments. Oh, I don't need. No, nope. we're, we're 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 leaving the room. Over here we have a gorgeous teen room. I imagine this would be Oliver whenever he grows up to be a teen slash child. We have a little work area, more posters, and a cute just little hangout space for your teen. Now that pretty much concludes the inside of the house. However, oof, that attic looks rough. <sighs> oh, I wouldn't want to live up there. There we are, the roof. We're gonna come into the backyard where we see a wonderful pool with some poolside tables, a little fountain, some little chairs, everything. And then we have a little play set for Oliver, some little monkey bars, and then over here we have a tree. And in this tree we have some string lights, which I think are just darling. We move over here, we have a small little garden with an observatory. Now, whenever I first got The Sims, Leah wanted to be an astronaut, and she still does. So I'm just running with that theme and giving her a telescope. That concludes the Zimmerman household. I hope you enjoyed my little tour, and I- oh? That is Daniel Blondell Sr. Another one of my sims who was made to replicate my dad. Now, before I completely wrap this up here, I'm going to go ahead and go into build mode. Go to debug. Why aren't you giving me debug? Excuse me. Excuse me, Mr. Sir. D. Perfect opportunity. Control Shift C. No. Control Shift C. BB dot show hidden objects. There we are. Now we have all those hidden objects. Now we just hit debug. And then we have all of our debug objects. Let's scroll through a little bit just to find a debug car. That is the only mission when going through debug at this point. Normally I come into debug for some clutter whenever I don't really have much money left or just to give my sim things that I don't really want to pay for <laughs> because most things in debug are completely free. After a while of scrolling, I realized that you need to use a different one to get the cars. So I went online and I saw what it was. It is BB dot show live edit objects. And that should give you a great selection of uh, pretty much everything you could ever hope for. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the car that I'd like. It is this one. And I'm going to possibly size it up. Never mind, I'm going to size it back to normal. <laughs> and I'm just going to plant her right here. And then with that car, I'm also going to give a separate one that I imagine would just be for... Leah and Robin. So there's two cars, one mostly for family and one for just outings. And then I'm going to go ahead and 
see no okay this little archway isn't what I thought it would be I really really want to add a little archway in front of the house but I'm not sure exactly where I would find that I'm going to look out here in there we are but still not wide enough Somehow, still not white enough. Weird, but okay. So, let's go to the backyard and find an excuse to put this thing in there. I'm sure I can find an excuse to put this thing in there. You know, this arch looks really nice next to this tree. I'm not gonna lie. Gorgeous arch next to a tree. Do you want anything more? Ah, yes. And it is done. This is the full Zimmerman House tour. And I really, really hope you liked it. Hopefully you liked it. I really, really hope you liked it, because I spent hours on this house. Um, leave you with this gorgeous view of this gorgeous house. Until I see you next time, bye!